it had to come sooner or later. There is a story, well really a sort of legend, that the invention of the bicycle way back a couple of centuries ago was the single biggest event ever since the spinning jenny to revolutionise social development. Now is that true, do you think? Well, I think it probably is. My grandpa, Derek Shaw, rode a bike until the day he died. Well, actually, the day he died. <laughs> Poor old chap. I mean, fancy <laughs> trying to free wheel our broccoli rise two days before your 88th birthday. I ask you. <laughs> he fell off at nearly 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Still, if you can't end your days with your jacket flapping following your life's passion, then what's the point? Anyway, the point is, it's a good story. And the real point is that it made me the woman I am today. Literally, here's the way it goes. Now, my grandpa was a self-made man. And I don't mean that in the way that it's usually taken. The only fortune he ever possessed was his good fortune. Another way of not saying plenty of luck, but meaning happenstance. I mean, now there's a word that's gone by the wayside. But if you think about it, Luck just happens, but good fortune comes when you work hard to make the best of your talent. Now, I come from a lovely family. None of us bright, but none of us sure in the department of knowing what way is up. I mean, I love going to school to be with the other kids. It was just the learning bit. I can never get the hang of. <laughs> I mean, teacher, right? If I've got a bunch of grapes in one hand and a hand of bananas in the other and then I've got two apples in my right hand and three walnuts in my left hand. How many different pieces of fruit have I got all together? I ask you, oh, what a carry on. <laughs> I mean, my dad and my other granddad, they were green grocers and if they'd go bananas at the suggestion of carrying lovely fresh fruit around like that. Anyway, how many bananas are in a hand and um, there are too many grapes in a bunch to count. So, so it went on. But my grandpa understood. He sat me on his knobbly old knees, gave me a hug and told me not to fret. As long as you know how many beans make five, you'll be fine, he reasoned. And he was dead right. <laughs> you see, him falling off his bike was my first bit of good fortune. Sad, but true. As I say, Grandpa was my guiding, guiding star. I mean, I can't explain, but although I lost him because of his exuberant last free will down Broccoli Rise, I wanted to be like him. If only because when I was wedged on his crossbar and he pretended to drive the world's Fargo Stagecoach Express, he urged me to pretend I was riding shotgun and shoot those pesky varmints. That, of course, was dead set against me getting some wheels until we got the cycling proficiency test at school. <laughs> then I was away and I never looked back. I've had all sorts of bone shakers over the years and always headed the same way, London. It's my city and I love it. Shoreditch to South Ken, Camden Town to Vauxhall. I know it like the back of my hand, as good as any taxi driver. A public convenience or Harrods food store, I will get you there safe and sound. <laughs> You might think life as a cycle courier was a hard way to make a living. Out in weathers, cramp, a lot of bread pudding en route, <laughs> and you get used to it. But life now will be different. I'll have company. Today is a good day. Today is a day of that good fortune I was telling you about. My license of competence arrived and I am fully qualified to operate as a rickshaw driver. <laughs> but luck has played its part, I must confess. I mean, how could I know Mr. Johnson would come on the telly and tell people to get back to work, keep away from buses and trains and make their way on their own two legs and get a bicycle? And there's me on my three wheels, offering them a quick, comfortable ride in the fresh air for the price of a pint of beer. So there you have it. A woman in a man's world. Oh no, not really. <laughs> Though Grandpa never got his heart's desire, he never called me Erica. It was always going to be Rick. 
could he have known? Am I his legacy? I mean, lovely old Gramps. You might not have been ready for girl power, but you can't miss the signage on my bike. At your service, Rickshaw of London. <laughs>